And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So today we are back in Automation, the Car Company Tycoon game. And we are going to build something brand new in the 1980s. 1980s. So we are going to build, here we go, last 10 years, please, a van. A van. Yes, so we're going cheap. So we're going to go ladder. Now we're going to do corrosion resistant with a longitudinal engine. Front suspension is going to be McPherson strut with semi-trailing arm rear. Okay. It's pretty much average all the way along. Bad for off-road, but good lord who takes a van off-road. And we're going to go with corrosion resistant steel in the back. A little bit of quality. All right. So <clears throat> headlights, headlights. Now we don't need great headlights on this thing. Let's go with that. Indicators. We're just going to use square line indicators. And we'll do that. All right. We're going to put another set of indicators on the side. And then tail lights, we're gonna go with this square design. We there we go. Flip them vertically. There we go. All right, handles. What, you thought we were going to go spendy with the handles? No. This is a van. This is a van. And then, let's see. Um, apparently, you don't get to put handles in the back. All right. As for exhausts... It doesn't work too well. So we're going to say the exhaust is uh, underneath. Yeah. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Badging. Now nah, we're not going to do badging yet. Okay. Body stop. So what are we going to call this thing? This is going to be the mobility. Trim one passenger. We'll call it the full pass. And, oh, oops, I didn't want to do that. Um, transverse engine, please. Let's see. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. Transverse front wheel drive. Good. Engine time. All right. Now, I'm actually tempted to use the leaf engine and let's duplicate the base variant we'll call it the base two okay so 107 horsepower not that great of an engine now we could switch it to hyper eutectic so let's take a look hold on let's hold this What's my engine design here? Okay. Hyper eutectic. And we're having some piston head issues. Now we'll just stick with forged. All right. And mechanical injection, standard, regular. Relatively efficient engine. Go up two. And we'll go up.
There we go. Alright, so now let's give it a bit more fuel mixture. We're targeting this for fuel efficiency here. Looks pretty good across the board there. There we go. All right. So let's move ahead. Move ahead. That all looks good. We can reduce this a fair amount. There we go. All right. We'll go up to a three-way cat. And we'll stick with the short cast. Okay, car design time. Manual, single clutch. Four speed. Top speed of 88 miles an hour. It's a truck. What do you want? It's a van. Long life roads. We'll do that. Steel rims. A little bit of quality. We'll do drum 2LS, drum SLS. Bit of quality. None of that stuff. We need 88.4. Alright, that's not bad. So let's go back to here. Let's go grills. And we're just going to use a bog standard straight grill. This thing looks like a brick. <clears throat> I mean, this thing literally looks like a brick. Okay. There we go. Nine seats. Let's check our gearing again. And we'll go standard. Basic. Power steering. Advanced. Standard, twin tube, passive, normal. Okay. Let's look at detail stats now. Now, we're not aiming for sportiness at all, all right? So, we're going to drop understeer, oversteer down to basically nothing. The full pass LE. Okay, so, understeer, oversteer. <laughs> it actually has a very sporty, uh, yeah, that's, that's entertaining. Actually, the easy way to fix this is probably going to be the tires. There we go. Little bit of wheel spin there. Just a little bit. Looks like we're going to have to go solid front, solid rear. There we go. 
pretty good stopping speed, too. Okay. What else are we complaining about here with detail stats? Um, bottom out is a little bit of an issue, so we'll give it... Eek this up a little bit. There we go. Now, if we look at, let's see, tires. It's a little better. Fix this with our camber settings. That's looking pretty good. that there, please. 45. Yeah, that looks good. Markets. City premium? Really? So, where is, uh, how is it rate even rating for Pony? How? 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 Light delivery. Where is delivery? It should be around here somewhere. Ah, there we go. I need higher utility and practicality scores. Okay, so let's duplicate this. And we'll call it the cross LE. Okay, so the cross LE. We're gonna go all the way back to body styles here. There we go. That is running as expected. Good. All right. It actually has an off-road rating. All right. Now, for this model, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Because we're gonna switch it to 
from the Leaf. We're actually going to switch over to the V6A1. Standard. Which gave us good boosts across the board. I like the footprint. Cargo volume is better. Passenger space is a little bit less. Utility. Passenger space issues. Cargo volume, they like that. So what's the advantage of the automatic locker? Better utility and off-road. Yeah, I'll go with the... Oh, they really like the manual locker, actually. Yeah, so we'll stick with the manual locker. Wheel spin's still an issue, but that's fine. Now, if I switch this to a manual, to an automatic... Now what are we looking at? Markets. Still not showing up down here. Is it the economy issue? See, I wish we could get... I, I wish we could get a... Uh, a breakdown of this whole thing, right? I, I wish we could get a breakdown of it, but... It's just not even... Like a breakdown of how we're, what we're missing, what we need more of. So, drivability, comfort, utility, reliability, economy, cargo volume. So, let's look at this. Yeah, it's not even showing it. More comfort, maybe? More comfort. Let's try that. Let's give ourselves a boost here on quality. Huh. Yeah, I really wish we could get more details on this, but... Like how to exactly to meet these objectives, what we're lacking, you know. But we don't, so that's neither here nor there. V6 
be a better economy, though. Need a better economy. All right, so let's save that, and then let's duplicate it. And we'll name it the Cargo Ellie. It's not a full cargo variant. We get a bit bigger. Bit blunter. See, this is gonna drive me nuts. Utility went up because the cargo volume went up. But it's probably still not, if we look at markets. Oh, it's showing up now, ha ha. There we go. So it is now actually showing up as a vehicle. Okay, good, 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 good. Now, let's go back to car design. Now, let's see what happens if I switch this over to basic. Now, how does it rate? better. Oh, because we made it cheaper. Right, okay. So now if we go back again. Hey, this is working out good. Look at this. <laughs> so we're cheaper. We're still more expensive, right? And I really wish... There we go. We're still more expensive. But... This is a big but. We're doing much better than there. So let's see where else we can cut costs on this thing for the cargo LE. Uh, let's come back here. Now, how do we look? We're cheaper and better, cheaper and better, cheaper and better. Look at that. All right, so we have a brand new on the market. Family utility, we're actually not doing bad. That's odd. Um, okay, whatever you guys want. All right. So we are now doing pretty well on all these three categories. So we've just produced a delivery van that is cheaper than the other ones of the market, and that we can actually, you know, market pretty, uh, pretty efficiently out here. Yeah, I mean it's a van. <laughs> you know, it, it's it's a van. It is a cargo van. Not much about it. It's a cargo van. Thirteen and a half miles per gallon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is with the leaf engine, too. Ha! Ah, look at that. Alright. That works well, then. Fuel efficient. Cheap. Emphasis on the cheap. Cheaper chicken. Anyways. Alright, so that's a cargo van, then. Nice. Alright. Yeah, emissions are still meh. If we, uh...
look at it through the exhaust system, but that's on the engine. Oh, we're still using a three-way cat. Oh, because this is the emissions for the engine itself, not the emissions for the vehicle. Because this depends on how hard the vehicle has to work. Right. Yeah, it's relatively reliable, too. I like to see that. All right, so this has been Mr. Kassarian. I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, we now have a cargo hauler. Yay, cargo hauler. Yay. Anyways, hope to see you guys again in the next episode. Yeah, hope to see you guys in the next episode. This has been Mr. Kazarian. Thank you all for watching. And as always, happy building.